Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you guys how I made a Henry Ford chatbot and this can be used to make any type of persona that you like in this specific scenario I brought Henry Ford back to life okay and this tracks the messages that the user sends and it also builds a user profile so basically this is like a personalized Henry Ford chatbot to the user so Henry Ford can learn about the user and interact with them one on one. And I even set it up that they only get five messages and if they need more, they must pay for them. Um, the only thing that hasn't been set up is the actual web hook. So after they pay, um, it verifies the payment and then restarts the whole flow. But that can come in a later video. I want to make a quick video on just detailing how to actually build this. This template is going to be in the Discord server link below. It's not free. It's a paid server. But this template will be in there if you don't want to build it yourself. So it goes from a start node to an AI response, which is knowledge base. And it says introduce yourself in one or two sentences. The reason I did this is because I wanted um, to showcase to introduce yourself. I'm telling the knowledge to introduce yourself. And what is the knowledge, you ask? The knowledge is Henry Ford's Wikipedia. Um, it's his autobiography that he wrote, which I grabbed from Google. I just searched, uh, Henry Ford autobiography PDF and it came up and then tat, I think is just a combination of different other articles that I condensed into one. Okay. So what we have here is the knowledge base introducing yourself. So what I just showcased, I told it to introduce yourself. Two sentences. Before I go into detail, back to the knowledge base, we have GPT-4 here, okay? Because this is a paid SaaS type thing, so you want to make money, you're going to charge your clients. You're only going to have five free messages. If they want more, they have to pay for more, okay? So you are Henry Ford, um, blah, blah, blah. So basically, I have the prompt that's going to be within the template, and this is just one that ChatGPT generated. You can modify it by copying it all, Going to chat GBT, go in your chat GBT4, and just quote, pick, paste, quote, and then say, modify this so it fits for Elon Musk. So if we would like to change this to Elon Musk, all we got to do is tell it to, and now it's going to make the same exact detailed prompt, which specifies do not make long answers, only when requested, do not answer with um take care or any disclaimers that it usually does so this is like a this is the proper prompt that you'd want to use for any ai persona and to modify it i just showed you how you just quote paste end quote and say modify this for so it fits for elon musk or whoever you want like bill gates or etc mr beast or whoever you want to um, impersonate um not impersonate make an ai version of them okay so you just paste that into the system message and then for the settings, I just have GPT-4 on the max token, so it doesn't cut off any text that it responds with if they want a long answer. And the temperature, I put 0 0.2, so we get some creativity, but not too much, and we keep it a little bit more logic-based and straightforward. Okay, so after we introduce yourself in one two sentences, it's going to go to a message count. So this is going to see how much messages it has, and if they have under five, it's going to allow them to go to the next um, step if they have less than five it's going to direct them to pay um and then also as it's checking for five it's going to also check if they're a member or a lifetime based on the variable that we set and if they are it's going to allow them to continue to talk if not again if they have less if they have more than five then they have to pay okay so after let's say you don't you're good you have you don't you don't have to pay you can move on to the next step now you can ask your question so as you can see introduce yourself here and it's just a check and then after it passes the check you can ask so introduce yourself, let's say it says, hi, um, you say, hi, how can I build the next Ford uh, transportation company? And then it will take your, your question, it will add to the message count of a plus one. And then this is a user profile set AI. It's basically what this is doing is based on the memory and the prompt. So based on your last response and memory that has access to, it's gonna apply and build a profile for you in the variable, okay? So how this works is GPT-4, temperature zero, max total 128, and I have a prompt here that I wrote up, build an add to user profile to see who it is we we're talking to. So basically I'm building a profile of the user who is speaking to the AI so we can address the user properly and not forget any of the things that he mentions, like his name, who they are, what's their job, what they, are they, what's their mental state, etc. So this builds out a profile so the AI can tailor the response to their personality and etc and who they are okay so after it does that it says um i have an ai response which is just a knowledge base 
Um, and then it has the last utterance variable. And then it has the user profile. So it shows, knows the user profile, who, we, who he's talking to, and it just responds to the question that's the last utterance, okay? And then it just loops. So it loops back to the check, and if it passes the check, it asks them the question, etc. Keeps going on infinitum, okay? Until, 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 this is, there's a catch. You gotta pay, okay? So if you have done more than five messages, it prompts you to pay to continue. And if you don't pay, it, I have the AI respond. The user doesn't want to pay five percent five dollars to talk to you anymore, and then I will just respond in a way to end the conversation. Okay, so I'll just finish this. It closes with the end, and there we go. And this is basically just a card with the image of Henry Ford. Buy hundred more messages, and they can click buy now. And if they click buy now, it takes them to a URL for a Stripe payment link. And if they succeed, it sends them back here. Okay, the only thing that's not set up here is a webhook, which you can set up with Stripe, which I can address in a later video. Okay, so that's all. Thank you guys for watching. Um, let's test it out right now. Make sure to like this video, subscribe. It means a lot for me and it's good for the algorithm. And I just want to point out this template is going to be in my Discord server in the link description. Um, it's only $10 a week to get in. There's a lot more templates and tools that you can utilize. Our Discord is in its infancy. Um, and I would join now before the price goes up. It's only $10 a week. And if you have any AI agency inquiries, go on my website and send me a request form or book a call with me today. Thank you.